Tracy. Yeah. Uh, did you talk with the Titans uh, before the draft and how much contact did you have with them? And uh, were you expecting to uh, go around this point? Uh, I had, you know, I had, uh, I met with them at the senior bowl. I met with them at the um, the combine. I also had a 30 visit with them. Uh, all the meetings went very, very good, you know, very well. You know, I, um, no, I did not, you know, I did not think I was going to leave today. If we've been completely honest, I thought I was going to leave yesterday, you know, but, you know, God has his own plans and he works in his own way. So, you know, I went today. I'm proud of it. You know, I'm grateful that they picked me up, you know, I'm ready to get to work. What was your 30 visit like here? It was great. You know, I had a great time, you know, talking with everybody, the whole staff, you know, coaches, you know, just player personnel, people, everything, you know, it was just a great visit all around. I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed the staff. I enjoyed being out there in Tennessee, you know, it was all great. How would you describe yourself as a player? I think I'm a, I think I'm a great player, very athletic. You know, I think I move, but I think I, I think I, you know, of course I still need to practice on a couple of things, but you know, I think I'm, like I said, I'm very athletic. I move well, got good feet. You know, I could bend. You know, I, I excel in the past, probably, you know, can keep working in the run, you know, but it's always an improvement in every aspect of the game. I don't know how familiar you are with the offensive line group here, Jalen, but what excites you about the opportunity with Tennessee? Uh, you know, just to be able to get in there, you know, just work. You know, like I said, I had a 30 visit with him. You know, I really enjoyed the O-line coach. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. You know, uh, our visits went very well. You know, the means we had together went very good. So, you know, I'm ready to just get there and get coached by him. You know, do, do we tell me to do? And you know, be a great uh, addition to the O-line room. Some reports said that you might be better at the NFL level playing guard. Do you have much experience at guard or are you just primarily a tackle? Uh, I don't have any experience at guard, you know, but like I said, you know, I'm willing I'm willing to do anything and everything. You know, uh, it's something you got to work on, you know, just at practice, you know, stuff like that. You just got to keep improving on it, you know. It's a bunch of things you haven't done yet, so. I just got to work on it. You know, I, I have no issue playing guard. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't be against it, but I would just have to continue to work. And, I, think I, you know, some, I think I saw somewhere maybe either you trained with or trained uh, with the same trainer that Peter Skaronsky worked with. Is, is that true? And you know Peter a little bit? Yes, sir. We uh, we all trained. Me and Peter was training together uh, this, this through this process. Yes, sir. What do you think about him? How cool is it to be here in Tennessee with him? Uh, Peter's a cool guy, you know, uh, we both played in the Big Ten, so we played against each other, you know, we didn't really talk much, and then, uh, you know, we got to Texas, we started training together, you know, Peter's a great guy, uh, he's a great athlete, you know, he's smart, you know, he, like I said, he, he moves well, you know, he's like, so, you know, I, I'm I'm happy to be with Peter, you know, I think that's a, I think he's a great addition to the O-line room as well. What are some of the things, uh, Jalen, you mentioned that, that you might need to work on uh, going to the next level? Uh, you know, just just uh, just like just technique things. You know, just you know, just hand time, like hand punch timing. You know, just like hand placement, and you know, just keeping great balance. You know, stuff like that. You don't want to lean and stuff, and uh, you know, just being more consistent and uh, and finishing. You know, just continuing to drive. You know, and just just get it done every play. Talked about not thinking he'd still be here today. Just kind of, what have the last three days been like for you? I I mean it's just a it's it's a big waiting game you know that's really all it is uh you know you just you just sit in the house you know you wait uh and for your phone to ring you know you know it's been a little bit of you know it's been anxious you know I've been a little bit nervous you know but and then they you know like I said earlier God has a plan so uh, I just been waiting you know I didn't get called last night you know I wasn't upset about it you know I just went home you know prayed uh woke up today hoping that today would be the day and it what turned out that. Style of play, Jalen, and, and maybe what do you like about it? Uh, can you repeat that again? I didn't hear you. Okay. What, what do you What do you know about the Titans' style of play? What kind of offense they have, and, and what do you like about it? Uh, you know, I know up front. You know, they uh, they run they run off the ball. They're very dominant. They finish to the whistle. They play very hard. You know, I'm just ready to like I said, I'm just ready to get in there and be a part of that. You know, just go in there and get be a part of that grind. You know, and uh. Just watch all the guys get through the workouts every day, you know, just like I said, just be together with the team. Are you close with Chig from your Maryland days? Oh, yes, sir. Me and Chig are pretty close. You know, we all uh, we came in the same class, uh, 2018. Um, Chig is a great guy. You know, I love loved him at my tight end when he was here with me. And uh, I still get to be with him again. So I can't wait to step in there and go see him. You heard from him by chance already? 
I haven't I haven't uh, been on my phone really not uh, not yet at least I've been talking to the, the staff you know uh, Rand and uh, Mike so and, and what they what did they tell you specifically in welcoming you to the team uh, you know just come in you know just be myself you know just work hard and uh, you know just keep my head up you know and just uh, like I said if they if I need anything you know they got me uh, they're gonna take care of me gonna make sure I'm doing okay but just come in and uh, be ready to work. And did you just start playing football at 14? Yes, sir. I started playing at 14. Uh, you know, some life, some life stuff was going on. You know, it wasn't a, a lot of uh, the right circumstances at a young age. You know, I ended up turning when I turned 14. Ended up found uh, being in the right place. You know, and uh, found football. So, what you what'd you do to keep yourself busy or hobbies up until you were 14? Uh, you know, just outside running around with friends. You know, just playing basketball outside, playing throwback football, you know, outside in the grass, you know, just having fun. How big were you when you started? Uh, when I was 14, I was 14, I was probably, I don't know, I want to probably say like 6'4", maybe like 300, maybe I'm not, you know, I don't know. And then did it take you long to catch up with everybody else from a technique standpoint? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it took me pretty long. You know, uh, it probably took me until about like my red shirt freshman year. Uh, maybe even the year after that, you know, up until college, you know, throughout high school, I was just out there just moving people, uh, just being a bigger body, not really using a lot of techniques. So when I got to college, that was one of the main focuses that I needed to, uh, that was on my plays, you know, just improving on technique because the same thing you're doing in high school is definitely not going to work on the college level.